This has brought to my attention a few days ago and I was extremely late for this topic but I have no choice but to make this video simply because this is going to happen to anyone who makes content in regards of exposing these pedophiles to light. But here's what's happened a few days ago. Blowbox have received a second community strike for basically trying to expose these pedophiles to light and hold themselves accountable. But YouTube has have not, none of that. So basically, he, they send him this email in particular. Hi there, I hope you are doing well and safe. Thank you for your unending patience. I am sending this email to let you know that I have an update from our team regarding your concern about the community strike on your video got. After through re-review on your video, our team has determined that it indeed violated our community guidelines under nudity and sexual policies. Please keep in mind that explicit content meant to be sexually gratifying is not allowed on YouTube. Posting pornography may result in content removal or channel determination. Videos containing fetish content will be removed or, or age restricted. In most cases, violent, graphic, or humiliating fetishes are not allowed on YouTube. Additionally, your video has been removed as it contains content of audio or text that includes descriptions of graphic sex or sexual noises. Since this is your second community guideline strike, I would like to remind you that if you got free strikes within 90 days, your channel will be terminated. So yeah, he already got the second community strike on his channel, so we already know that he already got the first community strike beforehand, which is already a problem. And this is rather scary, if this happens to Bullbox, it could happen to every innocent content creator that trying to expose these pedophiles to light, for trying to report the news that is happening, trying to hold these pedophiles accountable. This is very, very dangerous because that will mean that pedophiles will easily get away with all these things simply because YouTube is too incompetent to follow their own guidelines and basically trying to run their own site. Oh my god, this is starting to very, very disturbing to say the least. And not to mention it puts my anxiety way up a little bit. Mainly because I con cover, con cover someone who's trying to be a literal PP. And basically, this could happen to anyone I know, especially my favorite content creators that I know of. But my god, YouTube really needs to get their shit together. And I'm sorry for Bullbox. Bullbox, if you're watching this, which I highly doubt it considering that my channel was not exactly, you know, well known, but. Just to let you know, I'm very sorry that it's very happened to you. And YouTube, you should really get your shit together. And Susan, what the fuck is wrong with you? But anyway, this is all I have for you today. I really need to get back to bed because it's already past 1 a.m. in the morning. So yeah, this is Blue X signing out.